हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एजुकेटर्स प्लस सो आज की वीडियो में हम लोग डिस्कस करने वाले हैं अबाउट सुनामी सो सुनामी इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इट इज द पार्ट ऑफ योर एन टी एन एच जी पेपर फर्स्ट यूनिट नाइन दैट इज पीपल डेवलपमेंट एंड एनवायरमेंट सो वी विल बी कवरिंग द इंटायर टॉपिक इन डिटेल एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई वुड लाइक टू इन्फॉर्म यू गाइज दैट एजुकेटर्स प्लस की गूगल प्ले पे ऐप अवेलेबल है सो इफ यू वॉन्ट आप जाके आपको डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं वहाँ आपको वेरियस कोर्सेस मिलेंगे जिसमें आपको वीडियोज एंड लाइव सेशंस मिलेंगे ई बुक्स अवेलेबल हैं सारे टॉपिक्स के ऊपर बोथ इन हिंदी एज वेल एज इन इंग्लिश मीडियम मॉक टेस्ट सीरीज अवेलेबल है सी बी टी मोड के ऊपर सेम एन टी ए रेप्लिका पैटर्न पे कम्प्लीट स्टडी मटेरियल को प्रोवाइड किया जा रहा है बेस्ड ऑन न्यू पैटर्न लाइव इंटरक्टिव सेशन सेंड आउट क्लियर करने के लिए एंड फॉर मोर डिटेल्स यू कैन ऑलवेज चेक आउट द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक दैट वॉट इज सुनामी सी सुनामी इज अ जापनीज वर्ड दैट स्टैंड फॉर हार्बर वेव राइट नॉ जो सुनामी होता है इट इज अ सीरीज ऑफ लार्ज वेव यूजली दीज आर नोटिस ऑन सी और वी कैन से ऑन ओशन सर्फेसिस नॉ दे कैन लीड टू अ कंसिडरेबल अमाउंट ऑफ लॉस टू लाइफ एंड प्रॉपर्टी इन जनरल एंड इट इज अ सडन बेसिकली इट इज अ सडन डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ वाटर दैट कैन टेक प्लेस इन अनी वाटर बॉडी इफ अंडरलाइन कॉजेस आर प्रेजेंट एयर सो देखिए बेसिकली दे आर द सीरीज ऑफ एक्सट्रीमली लॉन्ग वेव्स एंड सुनामी आर वेरी लॉन्ग वेव लेंथ ऑफ वाटर Now they are caused by a large and sudden displacement of the ocean due to earthquakes or volcanic eruptions etc. Now these are also called as seismic sea waves and are one of the most powerful and destructive natural forces. Uh tsunami basically are caused by large earthquakes though not that all earthquakes causes tsunamis. See basically tsunamis are uh, giant waves. Now they are caused by earthquakes or volcanic eruptions under the sea. now out in the depths of the ocean tsunami waves do not dramatically increases in height but uh, as the wave travel in inland they build up to a higher and higher heights as the depth of the ocean decreases so the speed of tsunami waves depend on the ocean depth rather than the distance uh, from the source of the wave and for the tsunami waves may travel as far as jet planes over deep waters only slowing down when reaching shallow waters now while tsunamis are often referred to as tidal waves now this name is discouraged by you know oceanographers because tides have little to do with uh, giant waves so there is a difference between tsunami and tidal waves so now let's discuss the difference between the tsunami and the tidal waves so basically tsunamis are usually referred to as tidal waves but they are not so there are uh, a lot of difference between tsunami and a tidal wave and there are a lot of differences between a tsunami and a tidal wave based on various factors now ye jo factors hain let's discuss in detail so if we talk about the causes so jo tidal wave hoti hai it is the cause due to the gravitational force of the sun and the moon whereas if we talk about tsunamis so tsunamis are caused due to the underlying causes jaise ki earthquake hua erupting submarine volcanoes hue or any gas bubble erupting in the ocean or the sea Uh, the next difference can be judged on the basis of location. So, देखिए अगर tidal waves uh, को अगर हम notice करें mostly they are in the coastal areas. And on the contrary, tsunamis can take place in any large body of water if the underlying causes are present there. And it's not necessary that it has to be in the coastal areas. Then the next difference is on the basis of frequency. So, जो tidal waves होती हैं that they take place basically at regular interval. तो बेसिकली जो टाइडल वेव्स होती हैं दैट टू प्लेस एट रेगुलर इंटरवल्स वेयर एज सुनामी हैज नो स्पेसिफिक टाइम एंड एंड कैन अकर एट एनी टाइम सो इफ देयर आर फेवरेबल कंडीशंस देन इट विल अकर एंड हाउ एवर सुनामीज आर वेरी रेयर इट्स नॉट एज एंड हाउ एवर सुनामीज आर मच रेयर इन कंपेरिजन टू दैट ऑफ टाइडल वेव्स then the next is on the basis of intensity so the tidal waves hoti hain that usually do not cause much damage because you know they are not of very high and uh, even if they are high they can affect only the coastal areas whereas if tsunami can travel whereas if we talk about tsunami so tsunami can travel a long distance and can cause extensive damage to life and property now the next is that uh, uh, now let's discuss which among the following are the areas that are prone to tsunami so damage is usually worst in areas which are closest to the undersea quake often uh, because the fast moving waves will hit land so quickly and the areas more prone to tsunamis are coastal areas that are near earthquake prone regions or near areas of undersea volcanoes and face the open sea and face the open ocean 
now uh, therefore the coast of japan southeast asia coastal part of southeast uh, southeast india and the andaman and nicobar islands are prone to tsunamis and also the ring of fire in the pacific now let's discuss types of tsunami so the first type is local tsunamis now these affect areas lying within 100 km or we can say 60 miles of the tsunami causing event uh these tsunamis can be more devastating because you know they arrive with the, within uh, 10 to 60 minutes of the occurrence of the tsunami causing event and such tsunamis do not provide sufficient time for evacuation then the next type is regional tsunamis now these tsunamis can cause damage to areas lying between 100 km to 1000 km from the tsunami causing event and sometimes they may even harm areas lying outside uh, the 1000 km uh, perimeter now these tsunami basically arrive between 1 to 3 hours after the occurrence of the tsunami causing event uh, whether it is volcanic eruptions or the earthquake or whatever the reason may be uh, first uh, further they provide slightly more time than the local tsunamis to take protective measures however 1 to 3 hours may not be sufficient enough for safe evacuation given 1000 km area then the next type is distant tsunamis so they are also called as tele tsunami or asian wide tsunami uh, they originate 1000 km away from the effective uh, and they originate 1000 km away from the affected shore and they travel across wide uh, swaths of oceans and may cover the entire ocean basins now as it takes time to reach the shore it provides more time for safe evacuation and it covers a large mass of land and thus can cause wide uh, widespread destruction so these were some types of tsunamis now let's also discuss that what are the causes of tsunami in details so the first cause as we have discussed is earthquakes see the earth surface is made up of tectonic plates right and when these plates undergo any tectonic activity for example spreading subduction or transformation they can lead to tsunami now however all earthquake do not cause a tsunami certain conditions are necessary for an earthquake to cause a tsunami now some of them are like earthquake must occur beneath the ocean it must be strong rupturing of the earth surface must take place and the earthquake must cause vertical movements of sea floor then the next cause is volcanic eruption so volcanic explosions cause impulsive disturbances and thus can re- uh, displace a large volume of water generating extensive tsunamis now further a tsunami can also take place if a caldera volcano collapses after an eruption of causing a, a overlying water to drop suddenly uh, further uh, pyroclastic flows that means dense mixture of hot blocks pumice ash and gas from uh, volcanic slopes plunging into oceans can push water outwards leading to a tsunami further underwater volcanoes can also cause a tsunami and uh, however such uh, tsunamis are very rare that are caused by underwater volcanoes then another cause is landslides so landslides occurring along the coast can force a large amount of water into the sea thus causing a disturbance in water resulting in a tsunami now underwater landslides also cause tsunami when the material loosened by the landslide moves violently pushing the water in front of it pushing the water in front of it then the next uh, type of tsunami is extraterrestrial occurrences so a tsunami caused by extraterrestrial collisions uh, has not taken place in our recent history but it is believed that if celestial bodies like asteroids or meteors strike the ocean a large volume of water would be displaced causing a, a widespread tsunami now let's also so yes these were some underlying major causes of tsunamis now let's discuss about the effects of tsunami so the first effect is loss of life and property so tsunami can have devastating effects on life and property and this large displacement of water destroys housing infrastructure in the areas affected by it uh, apart from that tsunamis can cause collapsing of buildings electro electric devices gas leakage explosion damaging of tanks floating of debris that further cause injury and death then the next effect of tsunami is disease so tsunami cause flood in the affected area and destroy the basic infrastructure like the sewage system so flooding and contamination caused due to the destruction of sewage system can cause outbreaks of diseases infections and illness thus causing more death then the next is effect on environment and biodiversity 
so tsunami not only affect the human beings but also cause harm to insects animals plants and natural resources plants are uprooted due to violent waves of tsunamis uh, apart from that uh, land animals get killed by the down, uh, apart from that land animals get killed by drowning and marine life is harmed by the flow of toxic chemicals into the water body apart from that solid waste and disaster debris are uh, other critical environmental problems faced by disaster hit area then the next is economic cost so tsunami causes contamination of soil and water it increases the salinity of the soil the mixing up of disaster uh, you know debris with the solid and highly uh, salinity makes the soil infertile and unfit for cultivation thus adding to the financial loss to the farmers and raising the chances of food insecurity apart from that post tsunami reconstruction also requires a huge amount of financial investment the tsunami has a huge economic cost for an economy now let's also discuss mitigation uh, of uh, tsunami so mitigation strategies may help lower the effect of damages and destruction that are caused by tsunami some of them are as follows so the first is land use planning in coastal areas should include restricted development and sustainable development strategies then also evacuation strat- strategies should include the construction of tsunami evacuation structures and improvement in ev- evacuation routes uh, then construction of sea walls breakwaters tsunamis river ga- gates and developing forest barriers may also help in preventing extensive damage then another mitigation is by proper planning uh, so proper planning before the construction of a building structure and the adopt and the adoption of building codes should be done to prevent damage to life and property then also protection of coastal ecosystem like mangroves and coral reefs may help in lowering tsunami related hazards apart from that setting up tsunami predictions and warning system is a must and movement of population and necessary community assets away from vulnerable regions and planning for post tsunami recovery should also be done now let's also discuss about indian national center for ocean information system uh, incois so according to the experts from the incois india is much safer against tsunami threat then it was in 2004 due to the establishment of the state of the art tsunami early warning system uh, so basically what is uh, so basically what is incois so incois was established in 1999 as an autonomous body under the ministry of earth sciences now uh, incois through indian tsunami early warning center is the nodal agency to provide tsunami advisories to india now it is coordinating with the disaster management officials for implementing the tsunami ready program in india apart from that it uh, also identifies the potential fishing zones for the fishermen community it has also made improvement in overcoming the cloud cover through usage of geostationary satellites and numerical modeling and incois has also partnered with indian space research organization and airports authority of india to develop a satellite based to develop a satellite based message broadcasting service through uh, the indigenous navigational satellite communication system that is navic uh, apart from that let's also discuss about uh, indian tsunami early warning system so the indian tsunami early warning system ETEWS was established in 2007 and it is and is based uh, at and operate, operated by Incois Hyderabad it is an integrated it is an integrated effort to of different organizations including the department of space department of science and technology the council of science and industrial research survey of india and the national institute of technology further it comprises of a real time network of seismic stations tide gauges and 24 hour 7 operational tsunami warning center to detect tsunami genic earthquakes to monitor tsunamis and to provide timely advisories to vulnerable communities so yes this was all for today's video i hope you find this video helpful and relevant then please do subscribe to our channel like share and comment and stay tuned for the more upcoming videos thank you